Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Stuart Meacham. On this episode, I'm going to show you using Logic Pro how to use the inbuilt vocoder. I want to say at this point that I've only been using this feature for a few days, so it's possible that I'm getting it completely wrong. If so, I'm more than happy to take your suggestions if you want to email me, which is at uh, youtube at stuartsm.com. Okay, this is the way that I'm going to use this um, plugin for now. Basically, obviously, you want to open up Logic Pro. Um, as far as I'm aware, Logic Express is pretty much the same as Pro, um, but I believe it has some missing plugins and features. So I'm not actually sure if this plugin um, exists on Logic Express. If it does, um, use the identical um, way that I'm doing it at the moment. Okay, so you can see the first thing you want to do is um, you need a, a empty instrument track, which is uh, MIDI. Um, which I've got mine plugged for USB and we want also an empty standard audio track um, obviously the things you're going to need to make this work is obviously a MIDI abled keyboard whether it be plugged USB and also a microphone now I'm obviously using it on a compressor mic um, using the SLR connection but obviously it may work just as well with a standard microphone with say the standard 3.5mm jack Okay, the way that I found out how to get this to work is uh, the first thing you want to do is bring up the mixer window on instrument, as you can see, one here. And I simply just double click, and as you can see, it brings up the window. As you can see, it's green boxed, which is the one that we've just selected. Um, from the I stroke O here, um, we've obviously got no instruments loaded, it's empty. I um, want to go down to stereo. We want to go down to logic, and as you can see here, we've got the Evoc 20PS, the vocoder synth. I want to click on that which brings up this box let me just move it over here okay the principle behind the vocoder I'm not exactly sure how it works um, but the sound that you're getting although you're physically talking into a microphone but it's the keys on the uh, MIDI keyboard that's producing the sound so uh, you could be screaming at it but using a low C for an example and the low C is all you're going to get um, basically to do that what we need to do is obviously combine the audio onto the MIDI track um, and to do that um, for live sessions, or you just want to test it out, um, you obviously want to bring it in on your current input. Um, I'm using obviously input one, um, but you may need to choose a few uh, which ones you've set on. And simple to do that on the side chain here, you want to select that and you want to take it down to the input you have your microphone on again, as I say, because mine's mono is on input one. And pretty much, I'm not actually sure what all these um, buttons and sliders do, but obviously you can adjust them all, but also um, it comes with quite a few different presets. And the best one I've found to play with is called the Vocal Heaven Pad. Um, the trick is now, obviously, what you want to do is with your MIDI keyboard, is you want to obviously talk into your microphone and um, obviously play around with the keys. And I'll show you a quick demonstration. <laughs> Okay, the I've not actually worked a way that you can record live with this. Um, I did obviously just hit the record button using the settings we got at the moment, but unfortunately didn't actually seem to bring back any audio. Um, so the only other way I played with it was, um, hence why we got an open audio track, is the first thing you want to do is just bring the volume down to zero because you obviously don't want to hear yourself um, through the standard um, track, but also through the vocoder is turn that down. Um, pretty much what you're going to do now is leave this on the input one because obviously you want to hear it obviously what you're up to otherwise it's a bit pointless um, and then pretty much what you want to do is record using both tracks um, which is a simple case of um, if I just shut this window down for you I, I'm not sure the exact way but the way I do it is um, obviously hitting record and making sure you're saving on your audio um, obviously hitting record but also using the shift key on your keyboard to bring up both of them then it's a similar case of just hitting the record and then going for it. And once you're happy, obviously the output that you've got that matches, obviously the only way you're going to be able to play this back is on the um, this window here. You need to memorize what obviously audio track and in this case, um, just switch off, it's on number one. Um, so obviously what you want to do is bring this to track number one. Now when you play it back, obviously you'll hear exactly what it um, was as, as you recorded it. Now it's pretty much as simple as that. Now obviously on your standard instrument track you can add things like reverb the normal way, the normal plugins. Um, as you've got all here, you can add reverb modulation or pretty much whatever you want. So pretty much that's it. And as I, again, as I'm going to say, is I'm, I've been using this for a few days. As I say, it's possible I've got it completely wrong. 
Um, and if so, by all means, email me, and then obviously I can update this video and certainly give um, everybody a better picture on how to use this. I hope you find this video useful. I will say that I've not been professionally trained, and obviously if you have had professional training to take their advice over mine, um, but if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me on the email coming on the screen.